Map fans, welcome back. Today we're looking at how we can change the primary key for moved labels in QGIS 3. A cumbersome title, but a very short video. Let's go. Following on from the previous video, manually move labels in QGIS 3, I've had a couple of questions, most recently from Denzel, thanks a lot for the question Denzel, on how to change the primary key selection. So first up, let's have a look what Denzel's talking about, and then I will show you how to do it. So here I am in QGIS and I'm in version 3.10, which is a little bit behind the times. But in the newer versions of QGIS, I believe the labeling is pretty similar. Now I've got a few layers over here. These are just mocked up demo data and I've got joined layer here. I would like to label this. So I'm going to go up to my layer labeling options, turn that on and I can see all my layer styling and labeling available here. And I'll go for single labels, it's operating on the joined layer, and I'm going to use the status, and you can see type A, type B, type C. We could choose any of our fields in our attribute table to do this, but I'm going to stick with status. Okay, now if those labels have been drawn, and I don't like where they are, just as a recap, I can move them by using this button on the label toolbar. So I'll activate that, and if I want to move type B down a bit, I can click on it, and I'll be asked to choose a primary key. Now, a primary key has to be unique, and that allows us to tell which feature our label properties are relating to. So I am going to go for FID, because I know that that is a unique number, so that'll be just an integer. And I'm going to OK that. So now that we can distinguish which feature is which, when I move this label, that is going to create some label properties that will store the X and the Y coordinate for that particular label. Now, where does it store these? It stores these in auxiliary storage. Now, if I'd chosen FID, and I wasn't entirely happy with that choice, I misclicked or something like that, how can I get back to choose a different primary key? Well, you can do that through the layer itself. So if I go onto the joined layer and right click and go to open attribute table, first of all, I can see all my attributes here. That's very good. But if I have a look in my properties, and then I go to the fields. You can see these green fields down here. These are joined or related fields to this table. And this is the auxiliary storage labeling position X and position Y. So where the coordinates for the actual label are have been joined to this table. Now, if I go into joins, I can't actually see that join. It seems to be hidden from view. But if I go into auxiliary storage, you can see here that we've got our primary key of FID. We've got two features, two fields, and it's labeling position X and position Y. Now, if I go to my auxiliary layer and I delete the auxiliary layer for this particular layer and OK that, the position of my labels has been deleted as well. So now, theoretically, I should be able to click on here and it will ask me again what primary key I would like to choose. Maybe this time I'd like to use to sort. OK. Another problem that popped up for a couple of people is that when they select this move a label or diagram and they click on their labels, nothing at all happens. Now, in the layer styling, if you go to the labels tab, then we have all these different tabs down here. And this one with the arrows is for placement. And if you go down to the data defined section, I found that in the data defined section here for coordinate X and coordinate Y, I had a little bit of a hangover from previous movements or previous joins, different primary keys. And so I just clicked on that and hit clear and clear again. And then the next time I clicked on these, I could move them again. So do just keep that in mind if you're running into trouble with your labels. I said this video was going to be quick. I think that's pretty quick. So please don't forget to like, please don't forget to subscribe and happy mapping.